I'm here with Richard from Lithgow Arms. Richard, thanks very much for making the time to see us, mate. No um, problem at all. Very excited about this product, guys. I know there's been a lot of requests online about it. This is the new uh, Lithgow Arms 101 rifle. So I'll hand it over to you, Richard, if you can. Can you please tell us all about it? Right, we've um, been out of the commercial market for about 20 to 30 years, yep. um, and we've concentrated on predominantly military weapons. Yep. Um, we've brought all our know-how and expertise from working on the um, uh, F90 yep. over the last couple of years, and the key design engineers from that project yep. into the development of this rifle. So yep. the, the knowledge of plastics moulding, um, knowledge of fine tolerancing through the receiver, um, we've given the opportunity to go commercial, and, and we're all keen shooters, we all put our yep. hands up and say, yep, let's do it. Yep. Okay. So, Excellent. Key features, um, pull on my butt um, or stop. Um, we need we need feedback, so that's why we're engaging with customers here. That's one of our core objectives, yep. to, to engage with all of these people yep. and find out what they want in the rifle. We've got about a six-week window to get that feedback back from them okay. um, and either fill out the iPod survey or the, or the forms um, so we can finalise the design. Yep. and set up cost price. Yep. But we understand that we have to be cost competitive with all the people out there on the market. Yep, okay then. And what about, uh, look, I look at it, just looking at it, it feels fairly, it a little, well, looks hefty, but it feels yeah. not too bad yeah, at, at all. It's 3.1 kilos, we think we can get a little, a little more out of it. It feels a little heavy because of the optic. Yep. Um, Maybe a little overpowered for the rifle, but it, I, you know, we can we can change that. It's, it's, we've got an agreement with Trigicon, obviously, yep. um, and they've supplied us sites for the stand. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, it's got Picatinny rails on it, so you can take it off and put a yeah, side of your choice on. Well, Trigicon makes some good gear anyway. I mean, I've used their optics before, and uh, you know, like, um, really good kit. So, can you tell us a bit more about the rifle? What's the features? Like this one here is the uh, 17 HMR, is it? Yes, it that is. we've got. Um, so, what are the features with that, the, like the mag rifles, capacity, etc.? Yeah, the two rifles we've got on the stand at the moment are the 17 HMR and the 22 long rifle. Yep. Um, we we will produce a 22 magnum as well. Yep. Um, um, it's a triple locking lug on the back, yep. uh, not a single lug, yep. um, with a 60 degree throw. So we understand that you know, with bigger optics now, um, bigger tubes, yep. um, you, you need to reduce the, the throw of the, yeah. the, the cam angle. Yep. So we worked on making that small, yep. um, so you can put a larger tube with a larger exit. Yeah, angle. I mean, and also in a bolt action too, I mean, you've got a short lift there of uh, 60 degrees, it's better for fast follow-up yep. shots in my, my view anyway. So, um, And what about your barrels? I see they, they they start off, they look like a really a heavy barrel contour, but they taper off. Yes, they do. Um, it, we're happy to do a full ball barrel or a yep. taper barrel. Uh, like I said, feedback is what we need to yep. let us know what to do. Yep. Uh, the, this barrel here is chrome. The other one is uh, a chrome molly. Oh, yep. Sorry, stainless steel and chrome molly. Yep. Um, we have a number of factory finishes as well, so we, we do gun coat in the factory. We do ceracote, okay. we do electrolytes, we awesome. do hard chrome. <laughs> yep. uh, if you want hard chrome, in the inside of your barrel, yep. we've got to know that. Yeah. So yeah, sure. you know, obviously there's a, a you know an added cost to that. Yep. Um, we've got a semi semi match um, lead on uh, projectile lead for the, for the barrel, so yep. it, it can be a target and it can be a, a light barment rifle. Yeah, well. I think a lot of people these days too like a bit of both. Yep. Um, you know, oh, it gives the flexibility. You don't have to shoot yeah. paper, yeah. but you can take it out and go bunny busting as well. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And what about uh, the trigger? Is it adjustable trigger yeah. or anything? Yeah. Or? Adjustable trigger pressure and adjustable sear as well. So. Okay. So what what's the range of adjustment? Do you know that off the top of your head at all? No, I don't. Okay, no worries. And what about the uh, mag uh, capacity on these? The mag capacity at the moment, five, seven, ten. We're not sure. Yep. Again, use the feedback. Okay. Yeah, no it has to be five at a minimum. I understand that, and yeah. you know, ten is the maximum. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And uh, what about uh, your other calibers you've got as well? Um, you've got a few in the works at the moment. Yeah. Can you tell like us about twenty-two that? magnum is um, is definitely in the works, um, and also two two three and three oh eight center fire. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we've we just ran out of time. Yeah. Um, we've been pretty busy leading up to the show. Yep. Um, we've got these two rifles out in the white garden. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they look like a, a great piece of gear, that's for sure. And what about uh, in regards to uh, prices with it? Like, you guys are obviously uh, wholesalers. As you say, you've just got to be competitive there in the that's market. Right. Um, like I said, we've got a six-week window. We've got a, we, we need feedback. Yep. But we can't set any prices for a cost model and, and, until, we, until we've, um, we've got the feedback. And, yeah. And sealed it up. Sure. For us, we, you know, it's, it's, it's not just going out and machining a piece of steel and then chucking yeah. it in. Yeah, I we've got to, we've got to refine the design. Yep. 
um, they've got a change engineering drawing that's going to hold data pack. Yep. Um, then Michael, who's here, has to sign off as a design authority on that data pack. Yep. Um, then we give that to our manufacturing guys. Manufacturing guys give it to the um, business guys and they do the yep. customer link. But okay. certainly understand where we lie in the market and we've got to be competitive. Yeah, be competitive. yeah absolutely. So just through, um, I mean, when these become available after the six week period is over, that's when you guys will look at start getting them out to dealers, is that correct? Around no, that area? We're, we're looking early next year, okay. getting, getting them out to dealers. No um, we've, got to, we've still got our defence contracts that we've got to, um, that are locked in, yep. that we have to fulfil, um, and we've got to um, fit them in the schedule for production. Sure, okay, no worries. And what about just uh, finally, uh, this is more of a personal question of my own, uh, what about the uh, that Winchester 17 um, uh, Super Magnum they've got now, the Rimfire Super Magnum? Um, is there any any plans at all of maybe looking at that uh, cartridge? Let us know. Well, there you have it. <laughs> all right, Richard, thanks very much for your time, mate. Really appreciate it. Well, there you go, guys. Looks like an interesting piece of kit, but if you can get down here or live, at least let the guys know what features you'd like to see, um, I imagine they could just get onto your website and email information in too as well. www.liftgoarms.com. Excellent. There you have it.